Hi Capricorn, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your reading for December 2017. I have pre-shuffled this deck, so whatever falls out or flips over, I'm going to lay down. I do want to remind you that this may not resonate with you, okay? Because it's for hundreds and thousands of people, and this is a general reading, so it's not just for you, okay? Um, and this is for all Capricorns, December 2017. Time is fluid, so this could, this is being recorded in November. It could resonate in November, but um, <laughs> most likely it will resonate in December. And for some of you, it may even have happened before November, or it could be happening in January, okay? I will zoom this in when I am done laying out the cards. If you want to know more about me, you can check out my welcome video. Sorry about the name tag. Somebody has decided that some of my videos are theirs, so I they forced me to do it. I'm not giving my videos away. This is for Capricorn. Okay, the basis of your reading is the Seven of Wands, okay? Many of you have your defenses up about something, and we are not sure what it's about yet, but we will try to find out. All right, you have your guard up, your defenses up. There could be some unnecessary drama in your life. It feels like there's some regrets, perhaps. Maybe you've been rejected. There may have been a loss. You could be feeling extremely down. You may feel like you just need time to be alone and recuperate or contemplate the situation. Um, that's for some of you. For some of you, there could be new love coming in. Okay? Look at this lineup. Page of Cups, Queen of Cups, King of Cups, okay? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Some of you are definitely dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio this month. And it could be new, okay? There could be a new relationship on the horizon. Or there could be a birth, okay? Somebody, you know, you could be uh, actually having a child or there could be a pregnancy, I do want to remind you guys that usually my readings are love readings, but this is intended to be a general reading, okay? Because it's a monthly. Um, my weeklies are always love re readings. I do see that there is some, uh, oh, confusion, okay? There's some confusion. Maybe somebody has shown up in your life out of the blue and uh, you have these emotions for them but you're already attached to somebody else okay that is happening for somebody I'm not sure who if that isn't the case there could be somebody that has shown up in your life out of the blue and you know maybe you've met them in the past you know maybe you've dated them in the past or you they have a past and you know about it you know I feel like for some of you there's a need to um get past some sort of confusion. Perhaps there has been some past suffering with this person or you need to forgive this person or this person needs to forgive you. I feel like um, something has not been let go of, okay? Now, whether you're in a relationship with somebody right now and you would have to let go of that person to be with this new love or you've been with this person before but there are some... Um, there's some past hurt, you know, that hasn't been healed yet fully or, you know, that has to be hashed out before you guys can move forward. I'm not sure because this is for hundreds and thousands of people. At the end of the day, there is happiness, okay? At the end of the day, at the end of any road that this leads to, okay, there's happiness, there's contentment, there's... um a refreshing feeling of um, comfort, 
okay? I feel like, you know, I think a door is being closed so that a new door can be opened, all right? I feel like you, many of you have grown weary within a situation, like there's nothing else you can do, okay? It feels like um, you've given it your all, um, now you, you have this doubt, you have this fear that nothing is going to get better. It could be within a relationship or it could be within your job. You have this doubt and this fear that's overriding, okay? It's overriding your confidence. And I just am here to let you know, please remember how far that you have come, okay? Remember how far you have come. You've come a long way. Perhaps you need just need to forgive yourself. All right? I and, and like I said, this is for hundreds and thousands of people. If there is a door that needs to be closed, just let it close. Gently even. Let the door close gently. Go in, refocus, make another plan. And once you do that, it's like manifestation. Once you make the other plan, it will happen because I see a door is closing so that another door can open. And for many of you, I think it has to do with a new love, okay? Because we have this page of cups with, with these, uh, this queen and king of cups as well. This is also a couple, okay? They're, they're the, the man and woman of the same sign. So it's almost like a soulmate kind of thing. So whoever this new love is that's coming in, it could certainly be a soulmate of yours, all right? So just don't run away from it. This person may not be who you think they are, okay? And if you haven't met them yet, it could come in very unexpectedly. But I think that you ha will have some doubts when it comes in. But I'm here to tell you to please give it a chance, okay? I feel like you might have some confusion because of your past, okay? Your past is bringing you some confusion. And, and you may feel like, this isn't right, but I think it is. I think you have to let go of something. It's time to surrender. You may resist your feelings. I think you're going to try to resist them, but the feelings are going to be so strong that you probably won't be successful because I think there's some soul connection here. I really, really do. With with two, with two uh, The king and queen of the same suit right next to each other like this, with the lover's card, I mean, it really looks like there's a soulmate connection here in your life. And I feel like you should probably give it a chance. I do. But I think that you are going, you have some doubt and some fear and some um, confusion about it. And you may need to take the time to really go within to contemplate your future. Okay? I'm going to start shuffling while I'm still talking my next deck. But I just want to let you know that it's a change of course for you and that you should probably, I think that you should have faith, okay? You should have faith, let go of the past regrets, let go of your past rejection, forgive yourself, forgive the other person, okay? Let a door close if it needs to close because once you do, a new one's going to open and it's going to bring you a lot of happiness. Okay, let it happen. I see that many of you are scared of attachment. Okay, so that could be where your confusion comes from. It's like, oh my God, I have this overwhelming feeling of emotion for this person. You know, I really feel for them and that scares me. Do I even want to get that close? Because if I do, you know, I might have to let go of some of the control. So I feel like you guys are trying to re remain control of your heart, remain in control of your heart. Perhaps you have a guard against your heart, okay? You're so worried about it getting hurt or getting rejected in the long run that you may not, you know, may you, know, you could lose an opportunity. But I feel like this could be whoever this is for. This is for somebody. I'm not sure who. Whoever this is for, there is a potential for a new relationship okay or a renewal of a relationship okay that could bring a lot of happiness 
but I think there's a door that needs to be closed and that could be even in your head the door could the confusion maybe that you close the door to the confusion or the gut or maybe you remove the bar across your heart that could open a door if you remove that bar across your heart you know and actually let somebody in let somebody love you but and then you want it you do i see that you want it if you're single you want it you want this love but you you have so much hurt there's so much suffering that you've been through i think that you're scared of it you know my ring is falling off get in the next deck here this is for capricorn for december Same card, different deck, seven of one. That is the basis of your reading, okay? You're you're fighting a battle within yourself that you don't need to fight. Let your guard down, please. Okay. It's time to be honest with yourself. Okay, be honest with your needs, be honest with your feelings, listen to your inner guide. Okay? I see that you're curious. I see that you you want this. You want love, but you're growing weary of denying it. Denying letting anybody in. You know, it's like it's it's in your hands and you want somebody on one hand, okay? But on the other hand, you don't really want to get you don't want to get attached because somebody might break your heart and reject you in the end. Okay? But I see that um You're going to win, okay? There's success here with this person. This lover's card is when somebody comes in that you didn't expect, out of the blue. They aren't your usual type. They aren't. They're not like the last one at all, okay? This person is not like the last one in any way, okay? They come in and they remove the bar from your heart. They do. And because there's no need to have it there. But the thing is, the attraction is big. The attraction is strong. The chemical pull, you know, the magnetic pull is strong. And it's good. It will bring you success and good fortune and good luck. But you see this five of swords. This is about, um, this is tension. This is strife. This is you being tense over the situation. All right? And again, don't, not wanting to attach. You are blocking, this is the blockage by the way, your own happiness by not closing this door to past hurt so that this new door can open with probably a soulmate. Okay? It's time to forgive with both of these cards. This is forgiveness. It's time to forgive. It is. I see that good luck is on the horizon. This is the Wheel of Fortune. It's also a completion. You're about to start a new chapter. There's an absolute change of course with this Two of Wands and this Wheel of Fortune. Your life is changing. Go with it. Don't, don't fight it. Don't fight it. Your fear of attachment is holding you back. Let go of that fear. There's no need to fight it. You're only hurting yourself by fighting it. Your own inner conflicts are making you restless. They're blocking you from allowing this love in. They're making you wary. Okay? It's time to refocus. It's time to forgive. It's time to let down your defenses. And let this new course, let this new chapter happen. Perhaps with a new person. Could be even a new job. It could be for some of you.
I'm going to get you one of these other cards. Um, it's just an intense time, and I think it's time for you to be honest with yourself. Be honest with yourself. I think you're spending a lot of time observing the situation, trying to make the best decision. The best decision, I believe, is to let a door close so a new door can open that will bring you good fortune. You will complete a new cycle, I mean an old cycle, so that a new cycle can begin, okay? Many of you are going through an awakening. Big changes here, okay? But you guys are so guarded, and your defenses are up. Defenses are up, and you are confused about which way to go. But you aren't happy where you are right now. And the opportunity will probably present itself for you to change the course. This is for Capricorn. Ground yourself. When you detach from awareness of your body and the physical world, you become ungrounded. Although it's pleasant to float heavenward, your attention and work are needed upon the earth. We're helping you balance the spiritual and material so you can enjoy a fulfilling earthly life ground yourself somebody needs you that's what this tells me come back to reality your happiness matters This is for Capricorn. This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. And I will talk to you tomorrow for the dailies, next week for the weeklies, next month for the monthlies, or tonight for my Let's Talk episodes. Whichever, whenever. Talk to you later.